Hey guys, welcome back to another trade breakdown video for 26th of October. The little girl has been keeping me quite busy for the last few evenings, so I haven't been able to manage to sneak one out. Um, however, at the end of this one, I will do a uh, week a week recap of how my week has been tracking. It hasn't been that great, to be honest. Um, so, But it's still a lot of learning points. Uh, today was good. Today was good. Took two trades. Um, one was pre-London um, before... Uh, I'll show you, I'll go why the reasoning before that, but the, I saw something that would be, I've been seeing pretty much all week. So this time I acted on it. And then a second trade in the London Open just for 20 pips. So decent, decent day today. Uh, let's go to the chart. So I will just quickly go over today's one and then I'll go back. Um, I didn't actually have to do too much work today for my levels because the zones I had up here and here and here were ones that I actually had set up on Tuesday. And the, the ideas were from Tuesday that if we could break underneath this area, we could fill this range. And if we could break underneath this green zone, then we could fill this range. So I actually just had to push those um, ideas across. <laughs> so there was actually really, really simple setup today. Um, what I got into the trade earlier, because I normally get in and doing the analysis around, um, you know, between 7 and 7.30 UK time. And what I had been noticing, like generally I, I like to follow the last 30 minute candle of um, the Frankfurt open, which means that the last, the last, like the Frankfurt open starts at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. UK time. So the first, that's the first hour. Okay. And then, so 7.30, forget the typo up, up there. 7 a.m. Okay, then at 7.30 a.m., that's your second half of the initial Frankfurt open candle, right? That's the first um, it's the first 30 minutes and the second 30 minutes. Generally, like, I, I like following that, that um, the Frankfurt open volume initially because I do find that if you're pushing bullish, so say, for example, what's going on over here? Say for example, we've got um like that that's this this yellow bit. Okay, so we're on a 30 minute time frame and the 7 a.m. is the second is this candle here, and it's the last two candles in this little yellow bit. So if I put my cursor over it, over it, you'll see down the bottom. Okay. At the moment, this is this is the seven o'clock candle. Next one will be the 7:30 candle. And that second half of the Frankfurt open, yeah, it gives you a good indication of the of where you want to go towards right so like um if it closes bearish strong bearish then you think like you know there's this volume coming along in that 30 minute candle so you'd, you'd want to follow it the previous day this is wednesday okay let's move that so you can see so wednesday price pushed up in the initial seven o'clock pushed up into this resistance and closed bearish and then we had that volume to continue that that bearishness and usually it's good to go to the next level Okay, so then this one here, 7.30, nice and bullish, price pushed up into the next little zone, which is the London high over here. Um, this one here, okay, Monday, 7.30, closed bearish, and then we saw this was easy sells. Then we had, um, you get a few little curveballs, um, right, but this one here clearly didn't follow. But then Thursday followed, Wednesday followed, like little sell potential. Um this one here didn't really give you much information before then it pushed up, but um, it's normally a good indication to go to go towards. Okay, so this day here obviously didn't, but then generally this one, okay, price pushed up a little bit to the little zone and then sold off. This one here pushed up, so that's not a good example there, but anyway, this one bearish candle, price pushed down into this little zone and then pushed up. Sometimes you just got to like, you know, if even though it's closing bearish, doesn't mean you just have to blindly follow it every single day. It means that usually you want to follow that candle down to where you feel like the next zone is. Okay. Um, so if you if you've got like a bearish candle and then the zone's right in front of you, okay, because this was the support, um, you know, you don't want to trade like into support either. So you want to have like ideal scenario is if you see a bearish candle like this and then you've got a clear uh, support and you can trade down into that support zone. That's the ideal case. Okay, same with this one. Okay, price pushing bullish. We've got nice bullish trend. And then the volume just kicked it on. 
right? So I'm not going to say you, this is a 100% you've got to follow it, but it's just giving you like a good little indication. So what I had been noticing all week was that the first candle pushed bullish and then the second one seemed to reject a bit. So this one was the bullish candle, okay? Swept the liquidity from the Asian high, was pushing up. We had gapped down overnight and then the Asian session to stay contained between these, like this resistance, okay? This resistance and then this support. Um, what I was thinking on here was that if we can form a resistance and then start breaking and closing bearish, and I'm just going to get into it early because we'd seen this week so often one candle like this candle had like really strong bearish and the next one, sorry, bullish and then bearish. Okay. Anyway, so what I was looking at was on the threes and the five minutes, um, but essentially like this is the last three minutes of that 30 minute candle. Here's the next one. Okay. Do little doji. And then we saw something forming quite bearish. Now on the five minute time frame, that was this candle closing. Okay, this first five minutes, I waited for that five minute candle to close. And then on this one, as it was wicking back, entered the cell here, anticipating that this candle is now going to close bearish and that hopefully with the London open, we can just break through this zone. Okay, so that's essentially what it did. So the order was put in um, pretty early, something like this, targeting down here. Um, okay, price... Okay, this is this. Oh, I went too far. Anyway, this is um, 30 minute candles come to a close here. Okay, so on the 30 minutes. Now, this candle looks like this. Managed to get a nice little early entry inside, inside of this candle. If I hadn't entered early, then the deal is that on this new 30 minutes, what I'd be looking for is hopefully like a candle to wick up somewhere and then just push straight down. It's just I managed to get into this trade earlier. Okay, so next 30 minutes just went straight down. I wasn't confident it would break through this level without having a significant pullback. Um, so I just closed all in full here. And then, you know, price indeed did go push all the way down, but I was out of my trade by that stage. Um, next trade was um, we put price pushed down, created like a little, little support over here. Price pushed up, want to come down. And then if it was breaking back, a second break above this guy, I would take it up to the euro low. Okay, so that was the idea behind this one. Just wanted to see price. Okay, come back up. As it was breaking above here, executed a buy. Okay, more or less here, just to here. Okay, stop loss, not very good. Um, I don't want to, like I was, wasn't feeling comfortable enough to put my stop loss here. So I just left it back at that support area. Um, and then it was just a fairly clean run, you know, 20 pips, um, use fixed lots anyway. So it was like a bit of higher risk, but 40 pips down, 20 pips up. Okay. So that was it. You know, that was, that was the, just ranged after that, finished the stream, had to go do some things. Um, and we had e, uh, ECB interest rates. So, you know, really nice trades inside of here, playing the range. It was a healthy, healthy range. So you've got like 70 pip range, so plenty of options in there, but um, for the London Opens, that was my that was my trade. All right, now for the rest of the week, um, haven't been doing too well to be honest. Um, took like yesterday was a busy day on the Wednesday. I was able to take buys. I had a, had this level panned out. Okay, there wasn't an actual live stream because I was I was doing a workshop. Um, but this one I took buys over here, stop losses underneath over here. Um, had to sit through all of this drawdown and then eventually price, you know, late move finally pushed up to my target, which was the Asian high. So yesterday was actually a pretty decent day. Today was a decent day. Tuesday was a decent day as well, but um, I was looking for buys initially um, and then price, I didn't get the sells, price pushed down and I thought, well, you know, after all this waiting, I couldn't wait too much longer. I had to go, I had to do something again. Um, but then once price was able to close back above here, it was an easy target back up to the London high. So I was able to take that move on the Tuesday. Monday Monday was tough. Monday, I wasn't very happy. So Monday, I really wanted to see price push up into this area before getting those sells. 
and Price just shot down immediately. Shot down and um, it was in here, somewhere in here, like late in the stream. No, it was the stream that was done by then. Late in that day, I took a little loss on this one uh, before taking, took, no, it was gold. It was gold that I took a trade on. So this one here, just, you know, nice move down. Just wasn't what I was expecting. So kind of took me by surprise. So that's it. That's a bit of the weekly wrap up. Um, try to get them a bit more consistent. Again, it's just the evening's been difficult. So tomorrow's Friday. Let's end the week on a high. And then I'll see you guys next week. Okay. Thank, take care. Bye-bye.